Hello, are you a parent or a grandparent who is contributing to their children or grandchildren's education savings plan? Then this video is for you. You do not want to skip on this video at all. Hi, my name is Joy at Joy Phoebe Omuka, a licensed financial broker and an executive director with Experior Financial Group. Today, I want to share with you the strategies I am using that have protected my children's RESP plan investment from market volatility whenever we make withdrawal to pay their tuition fee in the university. And a little bit of background, basically, you know, the last contribution you can make into an RESP plan is the December of the year the child turns 17. All right. And once the child gets into the university, then the withdrawal begins. Now, the typical things and the steps and strategies that everybody knows and uses all up, up until now is when that time comes, you either go to your financial institution and fill out a form or a request form, or you put a request to your financial broker and your financial broker complete the form, send it to you for signature and then send it into the financial institution. Or once that is done, the form goes in. And in that form, you have the opportunity to indicate which investment to liquidate and apply towards the tuition fee in that moment. But one thing I noticed is that many people don't even indicate which form to liquidate. And also in that form, you can also indicate if you want to liquidate the grants and the growth in the plan first, so forth and so, so on and so forth. Anyways, there are so many information in that form. If you want me to do a video on what information is that for basically completing the form here and a video for you to see how it is leave a comment for me in the comment section and i will be more than happy to do a video for you on that okay but once your form goes in the fund is liquidated the money is sent to you either in form of a check or deposited into the banking information that you provided in the fund, in the form, all right? However, if you don't know the fund, if you to choose or if you don't indicate any fund, all right, to be liquidated, then the default choice will be used and then you get the money in the check or into the banking information you provided. However, there is something I have been doing with my children's RESP plan and these strategies have helped to protect my children's RESP plan from market volatility whenever we make withdrawal for their tuition fees. My first daughter is in year three in the university and my second daughter is in year one in the university. And just this past week, we just paid um, they are full tuition fees and we have been using the same strategy as usual. Same thing we used last week and it don't know me that. I hope many parents, if not all, are aware of these strategies that they can use to protect the investment in their children's RESP plan. Okay, so I'm happy to share this with you, but you need to click on the link in my bio to schedule your free 30 minutes, no obligation Zoom meeting with me so we can review it together and then I get to show you and share with you these strategies. So go ahead now, click on the link below or the one in my bio. The link to my calendar is in my bio. Click it right now and my calendar is filling up very quickly. So run now to schedule your 30 minutes, no obligation Zoom meeting. And to say thank you for scheduling that meeting and to encourage you to show up for that meeting, you will receive a $300 hotel discount voucher that you can apply to any hotels, vacation, location of your choice. 
All right. So thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you. Click the link in my bio now very quickly to schedule your Zoom meeting. Bye for now.